Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about curve fitting and optimization. So what does it mean? You know very well that let's say if one equation is given to you and you need to find out the value, let's say at x equal 1, then what you can do? You just need to put x as 1 and you will get your y component. Correct? So, this is how we do when equation is given to you or to us. But what if only the components are given and we need to find out the equation? Then we use optimization. How we do that? Let's take an example of a straight line and using that we'll optimize it and get an equation. So let's get started with an example. Here you can see that you need to fit a straight line curve for this equation in the form of this equation using least square method. I know the question is here what, the, what you mean by least square method. So first of all, you know that a straight line equation, any straight line is in the form of this equation, right? It can be b plus ax, any arbitrary constant but linear variable, right? x and y into variable form. Now, what you are supposed to do, if I ask you that you need to find out the summation of y, so you will take summation on both of the sides. It will be summation of A. So, if let's say you have 1, 1, 1, 3 times 1. So, what it will be? 3 into 1, right? Number of times into the value. So, if you sum up, sum it up, up to n terms, what it will be like? A n, correct? Then B, summation of X. Correct? Because you can take B common and you can add all the X which will be given to you. Now, what you need to do in this least square method, you have to take summation. Summation of the equation firstly and then you need to multiply it with x and x square simultaneously. Let's say if I ask you what would be the value of x, y. So you are taking multiplication of x to both of the sides, right? Here in this main equation. So this will be sigma x, y. This will be sigma a, x. A can be taken out plus sigma bx square, right? B can be taken out. Then if you have to again multiply this with x, then you can go on. But because you need one square, the p square, so you have to keep it up to this only. So whenever any component is given to you in the form of x and y, and you have to find out the straight line, you need to remember this concept that you need to take summation. Now let's take what you need. You need summation of x, you need summation of summation of y, summation of x and xy also, right? And x square also. So first of all, you can find out xy, what it will be. So 2.4 times 1, 2.4, 3 to the 6, 36, 3 is up. You can multiply 10.8. Then 4, 4 is a 16, 6, 5 is a 30, 8, 6 is a 48. Correct? Now you also need x square with you. Because here you can see summation of x square. So 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4, 4 is a 16, 6 is a 36, 8, 8 is a 64. Now all the sum which you need, you can make them up. So sigma x you need here. Right? So sigma x is what? If you add them up, it will be 24. Sigma y is also 24. Sigma xy is 113.2. And sigma x square is 130. Right? So now your main equation, which is this, y equals a plus bx. And you need to find out this. So make two equations. One for this, one for this. So first of all, for this form, sigma y a n plus b sigma x. So what is your sigma y? It is 24. A, you don't know. You need to find out. N. N is how many values are given to you. You can see here. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. N is 6 here. Correct? So A into 6 plus B into sigma x. Sigma x is what? 24. 
three four. So that means six a plus three four b equals three four. You can simplify it by dividing by six. A plus six four is not three four six four. This is your first equation. Then substitute all the values here too. So this is your form. Now sigma x y is what? One hundred and thirteen point two. A you can take out. Sigma x is what? Twenty four. B you can take out. Sigma x square is what? One hundred and thirty. That means twenty four a plus one hundred and thirty b equals one hundred and thirteen point two. Right? You can simplify it by taking, uh, you know, by elimination method, by substitution method. Like if we do, let's say if uh, we multiply to, if you see this is ten, and if we multiply this to forty a, thirteen hundred b, and hundred, one thousand hundred. Now you can divide it. If you simplify it, what you will get? Let's say, if you are divided with two, then four. You can think of it. Then you can get the least this. Uh, so if you divide it, two eighty three, sixty eight, three twenty five b. Okay. So this is your another equation. When you take first and second equation, either you can do. A is equals to four minus four b. You can substitute the value of a here and can find out b. So you will get your a as one point nine seven six four seven zero five nine, and b as point five zero five eight eight two three five three. If calculator is allowed, then you can take this much value. I mean these many terms. But it would be uh, okay if you take up to four decimal places, then also it is okay. So now you have got your arbitrary constant a and b. So you can substitute a and b in the main equation, which is a plus bx. So for any y and x, for any coordinate x and y, general equation will be 1.9765 plus 0.5059. Now, even if you will be asked that if x is 16, what will be y? You can find out using this. So in this form, we can fit a straight line. We can find out the equation of a particular line for any any coordinates using least square method. I hope you understood this with uh, this topic, this concept. And if so, then don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Till my next video. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.